Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss linear regression algorithm with a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given an example with uh, five weeks uh, sales data. Given this particular data set, we need to apply the linear regression algorithm and then we need to predict the sales in seventh and twelfth week over here. In linear regression algorithm, first we will plot the independent variable against the dependent variable. In this example, x is an independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Is a dependent variable. All these uh, five points are plotted over here. The goal of uh, linear regression is to find a straight line which will fit this particular given data set perfectly. The equation for this particular line looks something like this. y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus e where e is the error in this case. A0 is the intercept and A1 is the coefficient of independent variable that is x here. Now the next question comes in front of us. How to calculate this A0 and A1 in this case? First we will understand how to calculate the value of A1. A1 is always equivalent to first we need to calculate xy that is the multiplication of x and y and then we need to take the mean of this column minus we need to calculate the mean of x and then the mean of uh, y over here divided by first we need to calculate x square and then we need to calculate its mean minus the mean of x its square over here. Once you calculate the value of a1 now we can calculate the value of a0. a0 is equal to mean of y minus a1 that is already calculated over here multiplied by x bar that is mean of x over here. So we know the value of x, we know the value of y, we need to calculate all these particular uh, parameters, then we will be able to calculate a1 and a0. Once you calculate the value of a1 and a0, we will get the linear regression equation here. Once you know the linear regression equation, we can calculate the value of dependent variable that is y given this particular x over here. So first we will uh, try to calculate all these particular parameters. So the given this particular x and y we need to know the mean of x so we will calculate the sum of all these particular five values we will get 15 15 divided by 5 which is nothing but the mean of this particular x similarly the y column we will add all these things we will get 12.6 divided by 5 that is nothing but the mean of y over here first we will calculate x square that is nothing but 1 into 1 that is 1 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and so on. So once you calculate all these things, we will calculate the sum of all these things, which is nothing but 55. The mean of this particular 55 is 55 divided by 5, that is nothing but 11 over here. First, we will calculate xy, that is x into y. 1 into 1.2, that is 1.2. 2 into 1.8, that is nothing but 3.6 and so on. We will get 44.4 here. 44.4 divided by 5 that is nothing but the mean of xy over here which is equal to 8.88 in this case. Once you calculate these particular parameters, we will put these particular parameters in a1 equation. a1 is equal to xy bar that is already calculated here. x bar is calculated, y bar is calculated divided by x square bar we have already calculated here. x bar is known to us, its square is calc we can easily calculate it. So we will put all those particular values, we will get the value 0.66 as A1 in this case. So once you calculate the value of A1, we need to calculate the value of A0. A0 is equal to Y bar minus A1 X bar. So we need to put all these particular values, we will get 0.54 in this case. Once you know the value of A0 and A1, we know the equation for linear regression. That is uh, Y is equal to A0 plus A1 X. A0 is known to us a1 is known to us, the linear regression equation will become y is equal to 0.54 plus 0.66 multiplied by x over here. Once you get the equation for linear regression, we need to predict the values uh, for different uh, dependent uh, variables. So in this case, we have been given the value of uh, independent variable that is x. That is nothing but we need to predict the seventh week sales here. That means uh, x is equal to 7 here. So we will put the value of x is equal to 7 in this equation. We will get y is equal to 5.16. That is nothing but in the seventh week, the sales will be 5.16 thousands here. Similarly, we need to calculate the sales in 12th week. That is nothing but x is equal to 12 here. So y is equal to 
8.46 in this case if I replace this particular x by 12 over here it means that in 12th week the sales will be 8.46 over here so this is how we can easily predict the value of uh, dependent variable if you know the independent variable using linear regression I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching